Hello, welcome to South Nottinghamshire Academy Fine Arts Options. I am Mrs R. Ruby and I'm a specialist subject across pieces 3, 4 and 5 at SNA for Art. Um, my specialist area of art is portraiture um, and I obviously cover lots of different styles of art within that as well. And I have five years experience thus far. <laughs> So, I'm going to be talking to you about the structure of the course at GCSE Art, and I'm going to be covering that over the years 9, 10 and 11. So, if we start with year 9, um, the first set of two terms, you'll be looking at a structure of everyday objects. So that's the key theme over the, the first two terms. And within those two terms, you cover skills-based workshops that look at observation and perspective drawing, presentation, exploration ideas, painting, and lots of different multi-mixed media materials. Um, and the, the purpose of those skills-based workshops is really to build your confidence in using a range of different materials in readiness for a personal response project at the end of year nine. Now in this, you develop ideas, refine and experiment using appropriate media, and you record and produce a final piece. And that really builds preparation for year 10, okay? So I'm going to be going into this in a little bit more depth later on in the slides. But year 10, you start your coursework project one for your overall GCSE. So within that, you will produce a personal investigation based on a project that you want to do. Like I said, I'll be going into that a little bit more further in detail. But yet yeah, you will get to pick a project you want to do. And you will do that across the whole of year 10. So you'll be exploring the work of artists. Um, you'll be developing and refining ideas through lots of different materials and you'll be recording and presenting final ideas across the th into the third term. Now that coursework project one follows into year 11, where you produce um, a final piece at, for the coursework project one, and you also produce a body of additional work uh, for Ian Murphy, which is a architecture artist. Uh, midway through year 11 in the January, you will then be set an externally set task, which is provided by EQA, where you produce a body of work. Um, and in the last term, you then produce a externally set task piece, which is a final piece, which takes 10 hours, which covers five hours per day over the course of two days. So that's where you produce a piece of work that, take, that takes 10 hours. Just as an overview there, you can see that Component Portfolio it runs from Year 10 September all the way through to Year 11 December, okay? And that is worth 60% of your overall GCSE, so that's the body of work plus the separate body of work for Ian Murphy and a final piece. And then in Year 11, the January um, through to the May, you will produce Component 2, which is the exter externally set tasks whereby students respond to their chosen starting point from a set of um, assignment papers where they will pick a subject title um, and then they'll produce a body of work and then they'll produce a final piece over the period of 10 hours. And that is worth 40% of your overall GCSE. So it's worth noting that whilst it's a 10 hour exam, uh, which is in exam conditions, that is worth 40% of your GCSE. Um, and there's nothing that is, it's not a written exam, it's not going into the hall and producing a written exam, it is in the classroom and it is a piece of art that is, is producing that externally set 10 hour exam. So, content learned. So, component one, just in a little bit more detail, but component one that you start in year 10, students able to pick an area of personal interest to study formed from the title above and below. So in the last three years, this has been interpreted in multiple ways from transport and travel to mental health. And they're just two areas that some, that some of the students have picked. But we can tailor a project around students' personal interests, favourite techniques and skill level to ensure full engagement. So, for example, if you were really, really enthusiastic, let's say, about aeroplanes, we could make sure that we tailor a whole project around aeroplanes, transport and travel. If you want to look into a little bit more uh, in-depth projects, looking at politics, for example, feminism, or if you were looking at current news. So if you wanted a whole project about what's in the current news at the moment, we could tell a whole project around that. Um, 
as students within the component create a sketchbook body of work which includes artist research, experiments, artist responses and a final piece which embodies all of the research that they carried out throughout that coursework. So that's component one. Now part two, sorry, component one there, you can see some images of the artworks that have been created um, in our current cohort um, of year 11 and year 10. So obviously you can see their standard is incredibly high, but there's a huge diverse range of different projects in there from culture to uh, animal migration to mental health to, um, to architecture to travel and transport. There's a huge range in there. So you can see the diversity in which students are able to express their areas of interest in their course of project. So component part, well component one part two, you look at a very small project around architecture and landscape. Um, students here create a body of work around the artist Ian Murphy that comprises of multiple disciplines from perspective drawing to multi-mixed media pieces which include photography, ink bleeding, negative space, graphite powder experiments and large scale chalk and charcoal artworks. Uh, students here create a small body of work of large scale pieces and various written so that just gives you a bit of an indication of what those look like. It's a really great project, smaller project, less time consuming, but it shows a different part of your skill level to AQM. Then component two is where students here respond to a chosen starting point from an externally set assignment paper released to their subject title, evidencing coverage of all four assessment objectives. There is always a wide range of starting points which can be interpreted in multiple different ways. So the students here create a body of work um, and will then carry out a 10 hour exam where they will create a final um, piece which links to their project. Okay, it's a really exciting time, that 10 hour exam. Students are fully prepared for that because they prepare for it from January up to May. So it shouldn't be anything that's um, a shock. They should be fully prepared for that. So the skills developed throughout all of this, you can see in that visual learning map there, uh, the students are required to develop knowledge, understanding the skills relevant to their chosen title. Students may work in any medium or combination of medias, so it's really down to their skill level and what they enjoy. The intentions that they create should be realised through purposeful engagement with visual language. Students must develop and apply relevant subject specific skills in order to use visual language to communicate their own ideas. And students must over time reflect critically upon their creative journey and effectiveness to in relation to a realisation of personal intentions. So that's also created through physical artworks but also written language so it's important to understand that there is a written element towards the art GCSE um, which creates a, quite a large proportion of their sketchbook so a third of their sketchbooks will be written it's really important that students understand that. So within the context of fine art these are the chosen demonstration uh, areas that you can you can show your personal intention, so mark making, mono printing, construction, video, digital, um, photography, charcoal, pastels, pen, ink, crayons, pencil, watercolour, gouache, acrylic, oil painting, clay, wood, metal, digital imagery, different papers and surfaces. So we, it's a really big free range of, of um, areas of art that we can go into and every student is different so every piece of work is created uh, is com created completely differently um, and at the end of it when we put all the works together it's amazing to see how differently students have have responded to the projects in which they've started with so it's a really diverse um, range of projects that come out at the end so how is it assessed so i, I spoke about this earlier but 60 percent is coursework portfolio one component one which is a body of work and a final piece and 40% of the overall GCSE is the component two, which is a set assignment um, from AQA where they give you a word and you do a whole project around that word um, and you produce a body of work there and a 10 hour exam that's worth 40%. Okay. So who does this course suit? So really importantly, it's for extremely hard working students, students who thrive from independence and are self-motivated, students who enjoy working in uh, on art in their spare time, it's really important to understand a high level of homework is required to complete sustained pieces. Um, it's time consuming and if they enjoy it, they will do it much in a much higher spirit. So students are interested in periods of time, art movement, politics, styles. Students are confident in their own art ability.
community, um, students who are engaged to learn and take on greater challenge and experiment with various materials and processes, students who are keen to meet very high standards of artwork in, current, in the current department, and students who are keen to pursue a career in the arts, uh, design or digital industry. You can see the future pathways. Um, this can lead on to A level, but also it's important to know that even if you weren't going to carry on the position of art into your career, um, you've got transferable skills such as problem solving, creative thinking, investigation, um, that employers and universities regard as very highly um, in all subjects, including art. So fashion design, graphic design, theatre, animation, photographer, architect, ceramics, advertising, publishing, hair and makeup design, retail, artist, visual media and teaching are just some of the examples that you could could pursue in the career of arts. Um, but that is just a selection. There is a lot more to that that could be. So student voice overall uh, for this subject, this is just taken from my current year 11 cohort. These are some of their words that they said that remind them of their art lessons so you can see in there um, what they enjoy just I, I asked them to give maybe just three or four words that describe their art lessons and what they think about art and you can see from there overall it's a really positive picture and art is a subject that um, that people enjoy and it's it's a way of expressing yourself visually um, in lots of different ways so hopefully that answers all of any questions that you may have had um, as I said, I am Mrs. R. Roby, so if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact me via email and I can answer anything that uh, I haven't already answered. Okay, thanks so much for listening and, and I shall hopefully see you soon.